Hello, this is a Steinway model O grand piano, five foot ten and a half inches long, uh, made in 1900. Now we've repolished this piano and just want to appreciate the rosewood. It's such a beautiful wood and to encourage obviously to get your piano repolished. We did do some technical work on this piano, but it had been restored by somebody else, but the rest plank was touching, the action was touching the rest plank, so it was necessary to shave some of the rest plank off, which does happen now and again. That's an issue we've come across before. But looking at the casework, this music stand is the longest job to polish. The whole job takes over 70 hours. I was asking my, our polisher, and apparently it's even close to 80 hours to, to French polish pianos like this. It's beautifully smooth and uh, obviously beautiful colour, so just generally appreciating it. Obviously our main concern is the technical uh, work on the piano, but polishing is really important too. If you've got a rosewood piano, then it's worth getting it done, as you can see. So I'm going to go slowly just to appreciate the whole piano. You see, see that long side there. The rosewood, when you when you rub it down, you have to be careful not to over rub it down. It go, it tends to darken. It's an odd wood to rub down. Uh, but the, the, these lines, the contrast in the grain is is quite phenomenal, really. And so, just go quickly round the the whole sides of the piano. You can see this is obviously the natural wood. And when you we try and get natural wood finish uh, so it brings out maximum grain contrast that's the goal now here's the other side the legs by the way um, I don't know if they're original legs or not 1900 is a uh, very often turned legs and the square legs were coming in at that period so let's say they are original but very often you can't tell because it's restored very professionally at some stage um, by Steinway themselves very often but uh, they would be turned legs before that obviously I think 1890s is nearly always turned legs and 1900 just about the crossover point so look at that isn't it pretty and um, we just love doing this polish is absolutely enth very enthusiastic about doing rosewood as you can well understand now when you do the outside the inside's obviously got to look good otherwise it's a uh, uh, a bit incongruous to have the outside done without the inside. Now this wasn't done by us, but I polish it. He did say that um, some of the lettering was wearing off, so he's done some of that, trying to make it as perfect as possible without refinishing it, because we didn't refinish this ourselves. We obviously do do that as well, but this one just happened to come in and it wasn't essential to do that. So you can see the strings are relatively new, and they've been cleaned up as well. So he's done a lot of cleaning up on the inside too. There's the underside of the lid, that's often the darkest place because that hasn't been exposed to light at all so there's no fading or anything and that's obviously been polished up again to bring the contrast in the grain as much as possible. I meant to mention with the music desk by the way, these fold, these older Steinways, they fold this way, forwards and then you push them in and very frequently and in fact that was the case so these hinges were damaged apparently that folks have been trying to push this back because that's the way most pianos do close but the older Steinways are really important to know that they fold forwards and press in like that so that's and also this tends to get bent as well because they get pushed the wrong way so that's how it stands up there's only one position for it on the old ones and then let's look at the lid so the, that's the front uh, the underside obviously and that's normally folded back like that um, it's common when you come to tune pianos in people's houses that they're folded back and then a different color appears there so if this is in a lightish room uh, or direct sunlight well, well don't put it in direct sunlight actually uh, ideally because it will fade and then this underneath bit here will become will look darker than this bit here which will go very light and often we're having to uh, obviously repolished pianos for that reason and it devalues the piano enormously if if this is darker than the back so if you can keep it closed a lot of the time that's really useful and they have it open some of the time so this also matches in well uh, look at that beautiful grain it's phenomenal isn't it and uh, it's no wonder they use rosewood or sort of nine tenths of Steinways of this age of rosewood at least nine tenths uh, because it's such a beautiful wood This piano hasn't had its hasn't had its final tuning yet, but so I'm just going to show you that's boxwood inlay, uh, which I think is phenomenal. And uh, sometimes that's transferred on. Some of the a lot of the American pianos have it transferred on. This is a uh, German Steinway, Hamburg Steinway. So that's boxwood inlay. Uh, and uh, at this period of time, actually, there wasn't so much difference between German and and uh, American because 
Um, obviously, that was the time that the German factory was becoming established. Just a quick listen to the tone, though I wasn't, wasn't intending to to do a, a technical video this time, but it's well worth restoring his old Steinways. And these model, old Model A, I thought I called it a Model O, sorry, I beg your pardon, I miscalled it a Model O earlier on. It's an old Model A, so it's actually six foot one. I think roughly. I'll, I'll put some text to, to sort of verify that. So sorry about that. It's an old Model A, uh, slightly longer than the Model O. And there's such a beautiful resonance about it. And unsurpassed sound. The bass of these old Steinways is just so phenomenal. There are 85 keys, by the way, so um, if you want an 88-note piano, you have to get a younger Steinway than this. Well, actually, the, the big Model Bs have 88. I think they all have, all the bigger pianos have. But uh, the Model A, which is easily the most common, the old Model A, as we call it, um, goes up to, 80, uh, up to A and not up to C. So that's not really important. You can take exams on these pianos. <laughs> Just enjoy hearing the resonance of it. And there's a bit of voicing as well as tuning. There's a one-piece ivory, by the way. Very often when they're restored, uh, the old ivory is taken off on one-piece ivory without a join here. It's put on instead. So let's just reverse back and have a quick look at the piano again, and just appreciate it really. So uh, as I say, the the mechanics of the instrument and. Uh, the retouch and the tone is our first consideration, but if we can persuade someone to repolish it as well, or we'll repolish our own very often, uh, it's obviously very, very much um, more expensive then because it's 70 hours or up to 80 hours work has to be paid for, uh, and obviously it's the, it's the length of work that needs paying for and puts the price up. So thank you very much for listening, uh, watching, sorry, rather than listening, and. Uh, if you have got an older Steinway, an old Blutner, an old Beckstein, uh, all three do some beautiful casework and uh, we're really happy if you want it repolished.